Hello and welcome to a new video. So in this video I'm going to show you how I store my photo shoot backdrops. Um, and uh, let's do some more things. I'm going to show you some new backdrops. I'm going to show you some behind the scenes during photo sessions, the final images. Uh, it's just stuff like that, but also how do I store my backdrop so that I can easily get them They don't get wrinkled. So I'm here now and I have new backdrops. So let's open them up It's a new product as well that I've never uh, tried before um, I'll share links to the backdrops. These ones are from studiobackdrops.eu. It's my favorite backdrop supplier Most of my backdrops are from them. I use vinyl. They're two meters wide four meters long You can wipe them clean. Anyway, I'm gonna open up these packages um Put on fast forward. Um, well, first, I'm going to show you how I store my backdrops, and then we're gonna come back. So here you actually see a backdrop stand with one of those backdrops. I, uh, it's not a studio day today, so it's a bit messy here. But anyway, you see one of the backdrops I use a lot. It's vinyl. So what I used to do was just throw some backdrops. Like here, I have one. Uh, it's two meters, as you can see. Like I would either like store them in a corner somewhere or just place them behind my backdrop stand. Well, there's a cable there right now. I would have them behind my backdrop stand on the floor, but not ideal because I would have like several ones there. Uh, but they're like oval now because there's no cardboard center inside. If you do, of course, they keep they stay nice and round, but here, as you can see, it starts being oval and then when you roll it out, it's bubbled. And you want to have a smooth backdrop so you don't have to Photoshop anything. So this is where I used to store them, and when I just had like a few. Then I realized they would stay better if I would have them stand up, but I didn't want to have them stand up like this, because they could always fall over, especially when I had like toddlers running around, so I would store them behind my newborn station. I'm going to show you. So I just placed one there for now, but I would have like maybe 10 in a row here behind the actual newborn backdrops um, stuck in the corner. Here you can see uh, where my newborn station is. So having them lay down behind my backdrop stand or stand up somewhere where they couldn't tip over um, or like smushed in a corner behind some backdrops behind the newborn station was not ideal, but I just, I didn't know where else to keep them. Of course, you have these beautiful systems where you have like sticks on the wall or you can like place them all in there like when they're like rolled up on like a uh, cardboard center like or something and then you could have like the sides hanging in the wooden stickies and then you can like take them out and then uh, hang them on your backdrop stand. Um, yeah, I could have done that maybe behind my backdrop stand but I didn't want to have anything there. So... Um, my boyfriend and I were thinking about what we could do and it would be nice if it would be like portable the backdrops could stand up straight because... so he made me something so let's go to those clips where he's actually making me the backdrop storage unit and it is a little bit big um, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep it here in the studio or in my living room which is like well, like uh, next door uh, in a corner there um, of course if we move to a new home i mean we're looking at new homes uh, maybe like a bigger studio then i have the space to actually have it in my studio well let's go to the clips and i'm gonna show you and put my backdrops in
Okay, so now you see what it is, kind of. I'm gonna show you it all finished. So here it is. Um, it has wheels, so it's portable, it's great. It looks nice, he painted it all white. Uh, this is very sturdy, they're not going anywhere. Um, it's not completely finished yet because he is uh, going to create like a little chain here in the front that I can open and close so they cannot fall forward. But besides that, this is the unit for my backdrop. So I have a little bit more backdrops than the 16 squares that you see here. So the backdrops that I don't really use that much anymore. I'm just going to put them together and put them all the way in the back. Um, and then the ones that I use all the time, I'm going to put here in the front and then just a single backdrop. So I can just take it out, put on my backdrop stand. Um, yeah, first we were thinking about having a square here in the top as well with all the little um, cubes. But then I had to like lift it all out and the ceiling is not that high. Otherwise, uh, they I had to like fold them double to lift them out. Because I, then I would have like at least two meters from here until the uh, roof to lift them all out without bending them double. So I think this is better. This works for us. So I'm just going to put my all my backdrops in and uh, show you the finished portable thing. But then of course the chain will come later. And now we're back. And now you see how I store my backdrops. So now let's open up some more. So I'm going to put you on fast forward. already see some beautiful designs um two things the one package got like bended during shipment so you can see some wrinkles here in the uh, backdrops but that's okay um i have a video uh on how you can get like wrinkles out of backdrops check that one out it has something to do with the blow dryer uh but yeah uh, I'm going to just throw them on there real quick and maybe take some test shots with a cake that I have here for a cake smell session later. Uh, this one I actually want to use for Christmas uh, indoor mini sessions for babies probably only um i would, like i want to maybe do a greenhouse christmas sessions for families but then uh just here in the studio if i have a sitter session or case smell session it's around christmas they want to have a christmas drop as one of their four backdrops during a sitter session i have this one i love the colors it's very soft very subtle so this is just to see the material um it's a vinyl, so it doesn't damage easily. You can wipe it clean with a cloth. Uh, and it's it's nice, and it has a tunnel in the top. So actually, I can put the bar through. For now, I just clip them on because it's easier. Okay. So what I just did was super clumsy, uh, leaving backdrops on top of backdrops, and they slip out because the first backdrop wasn't on the tunnel anymore um because okay i have actually a new one of the exact same one but with the tunnel because i cut it off because it wasn't looking good good anymore and now i'm just going to click them on without anything underneath and it's going to go a lot smoother i can guarantee so let's go. Right now, I will actually store them properly because I start rolling up in the bottom, I roll towards the top. So you have the tunnel on the outside of the roll and then when I put it on, I just clip it on on the top and then I unroll the backdrop. That's how I usually do it. So it's still a little bit of a hassle to put it on now, but from now on it will be easier. But look at this backdrop, it's so gorgeous. I'm gonna give you a close up. I think this is my favorite from this order. Here you see it up close. But it's so beautiful. Like this is the hot air balloon. It's like it's really painted. It doesn't have a glare. It's a beautiful matte. But yeah, I, the, I love the texture. I love the way it looks. It's really, really pretty. I really like this one. For my kid, I would choose this one. Maybe for my son's cake smash. But I don't know if 
he likes it. Because it might be a little bit too girly for him. Because he's turning seven. But for a baby, boy, girl, doesn't matter. I would pick this one. Gorgeous. Wow, except for the hot air balloons, I really like this one as well. I actually like all of them. Did you see the yellow one with uh, the wheat, like the grain? So gorgeous, beautiful. Love it. I can see the perfect cake. I, I only have this cake right now, uh, but so many gorgeous designs could be possible. But this looks really pretty too, I really like it. I'll give you a close up again. You see the back drop. They're usually like rolled up really nicely, so you can just unwrap them, no wrinkles. Um, but yeah, here you see the uh, water paint. It's so gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. So happy with my new backdrops. And now I can't wait for the parents to choose these designs for their babies, for their case mission. Otherwise, during a sitter session, I will definitely use them. I think I have one tomorrow, a sitter session. I'll show you maybe a little bit. Today I have a sitter session here in the studio. The girl just learned how to sit by herself, so she might be a little bit wobbly still. So will you take photos when she's lying on her tummy, lying on her back, maybe grabbing her feet, and then sitting either on the flow caddy with the mom right next to her, or in a prop where she's supported. So I'm gonna throw on some backdrops, and then um, I'm gonna show you some behind the scenes and the final image, and some final images. Uh, so let's go. <laughs> Here we go, we have the first backdrop, which is a beautiful blue floral backdrop. And then <clears throat> here we have a, a second decor, which is the dark wood. Just have to tidy up a few things there. Um, I'm gonna get the girly outfits out. She was smiling, she was so sweet, adorable. So we used quite a lot. Um, I discussed with the parents, of course, like, do they want to have a headband? I also take some without. And in this case, like the bonnet, they really loved it. And then I said, we can also use one of the floral bonnets. And the dad was like, I wanted to ask you because I like them so much, but I didn't want to ask you. And I was like, just ask. But anyway, I offered. So we took some with the bonnet and the girl was okay with it. And she was smiling. Um, so she was just adorable. <laughs> So I have some on her tummy, on her back, from the top, from the side, when she was on her back, and then sitting in a prop, sitting by herself. So, and we did four different um, backdrops. And like, I let them choose as well, because I have the pink floral one, which I also want to test, but they, and the, and, the, and the hot air balloons, but they picked the yellow one with the grain, which I think is lovely. So, yeah, this is uh, what we have, and I think uh, it went really well. Adorable session.
Okay, so they're all in there. Um, now looking at it, I can conclude that the squares can be smaller, so they stay up straight a little bit better. Why this is so dirty? So um, yeah, the squares are a little bit too big, and then if you make the squares smaller, um, of course, the whole unit is smaller as well, which would be better. Um, so yeah, they are tilting backwards a little bit because they just have space to move in there. But this is like a first tryout prototype. Uh, it's great. It doesn't um, feel like it's gonna fall over. It feels sturdy. Inside the square, it's like 13 and a half centimeters. So yeah, measuring the whole um, device, it is about, what is it, 63 centimeters long. And yeah, it consists of uh, four of these squares and then both ways. Okay, so the gold middle banner I'm gonna show later, probably in a separate video because I'm not quite sure yet how I'm going to use it. I think it's pretty during like an indoor maternity session, but I do all my maternity sessions outside right now. So we'll see. But anyway, now you know how I store my backdrops. Beautiful backdrops, I'll link them all. Um, and let me know, are you going to make your own backdrop holder card? Are you going to uh, get your partner to make one for you? So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I uh, love reading your comments. How do you store your backdrops? <laughs> Maybe you guys have an awesome idea. Tag me on Instagram, send me a photo of how you store them on Instagram, and then um, I might just get rid of this thing and do whatever you're doing, if you want to share and um, show others how you store them. But anyway, thanks for watching, have a lovely day, and bye-bye. Uh,